Hello, everyone, and welcome to Chapter 2 Club, Smart Woman's Guide to Breakups and Everything After. Today, I'm here with licensed clinical sex and marriage therapist, Dr. Lisa Paz, and we're going to be talking about developing your sexual point of view. Hello, Dr. Paz. How are you? I am great. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you so much for being here, and let's jump right in and talk about sexual point of view. So another way that I like to talk about this is what is your sexual style? What I hear a lot of women say post-divorce is I'm getting asked, what do I like? Who do I want to be? Or they don't know what they like or who they want to be. And I know that we've talked before about self-pleasure as one way to explore. But another way to develop your sexual identity is to really identify what is your sexual style. And the way I ask women to think about this is, we all know what our fashion style is, right? Or hopefully we do. And we learn about that by sort of exposing ourselves to different things, different shoes, different magazines, different pictures, and seeing like what we like, what we relate to, what turns us on at a fashion level. We need to do the same as it comes to sex. And I'm not talking about overt sort of like sex. I'm talking about who you find sexy not necessarily men, but women, and not women that you want to be with, but women that you may emulate. So like, who would be a sexual role model? And we do this as little kids in identity development. You know, all of us, when we're little girls, we decide like, oh, what aunt or teacher or school counselor or mom's friend was cool. And we wanted our ponytail like that, or whatever it may be. We need to do that with sexuality too, right? So is our look overtly sexual? Or is it fit sexual? Or is it casual sexual? We need to know how we feel sexiest. One of the exercises I ask a lot of women to do in my office is to develop almost like a vision board, right? And so if you've ever decorated a room or if you've ever sort of tried to define a style, you might make a collage or you might start looking at what gives you a mood or mood board would be another way to say it. Start looking at, is it patent leather? Is it soft lace? Is it polka dots? Is it pigtails? Is it long sultry hair? Look at music, what kind of music. So when we think about sexuality and developing a sexual point of view and a sexual identity, I really want women to think broader than just what act or what position do I like, but to think about what mood defines me sexually. What do I want to create sexually? Because when you have that, you're able to step into an interaction way more self-affirmed, way more self-confident, way more self-assured, which in chapter two is one of the things that I think women find the hardest, right? Is like, I don't know who I am. I haven't been with someone else in 10, 15, 20 years. So the more we know about our mood, our style, our point of view, the more comfortable we are in this second chapter to sort of be sexual and move into something with competency. What I Great. got. I like that. I've never thought about doing a, a mood board before. And I don't know if our audience members have thought about that either. But yeah, it's to kind of like capture that, you know, direction that you, you know, like or don't like and and put it all out there so you can kind of visualize it in your real life before you act upon it. I love that. It's interesting because I'll tell you very quickly, I have different women come in and sometimes their mood board is like mosquito netting with candles and a picture of a beach, nothing overtly sexual, but you know what kind of vibe they're going for. I have other women that come in and it's tall sandals and it's a pair of black gloves and it's a rock and roll poster. And you know that that looks very different, even though there's nothing overtly sexual in either of those images you get a sense of who each one is. And so that is what I'm saying to women in this sort of mood board, vision board exercise is develop a style and see what you relate to. Awesome. These are great tips. Thank you so much. And you can find more resources on our website at chapter2club.com. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.